after what I still consider to be a shocking upset beating the Anaheim Ducks in five games, the LA Kings are the next challenge we have to overcome. The final eight, Winnipeg and Nashville in the other Western Conference series, and then two classic matchups in the East, Washington, Pittsburgh, Montreal, and Boston. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. The LA Kings are the task at hand. We will, of course, take a look at what they did in the regular season, and we'll probably take a look at, uh, very quickly at least, at what they have done in the postseason thus far after their first series. But the LA Kings are a freaking good team. Drew Doughty led the team with 61 points, Kopitar with 59, Jeff Carter, Marion Gabrick, Tyler Toffoli, Trevor Lewis. Holy shit, 48 points. It's pretty damn good. Tanner Pearson, they have acquired Mike Santarelli. Milan Lucic, only 33 points. It's it's looking like a good team, man. Just like Anaheim, top-heavy with Kopitar and Carter as the number two centers. I feel like, though, we have better centers as far as the bottom pairings go. Santarelli and Shore. Obviously, we have Horvat and Vertanen. So we win that matchup there. But, man, this is going to be a tough series. Gabrick, Pearson, Lucic, and Jordan Nolan. A very strong first three for the left wings. And then right wings to Foley, Lewis, Clifford, and Dustin Brown. Very well rounded. Defensively, Doughty and Muzzin, Martinez and McNabb, Green, and Luke Shen. Brian Strait, their seventh defenseman. So it gets pretty weak, honestly. We have a better third pairing. I'd much rather have our third pairing than Matt Green and Luke Shen. So... It's interesting that they are so top-heavy, but it looks like we have the better of the lower pairings. And then, of course, the goaltender, Jonathan Quick, with a 924 save percentage. This is going to be just such an interesting series. I'm trying not to get my hopes up, guys. I'm really trying not to get my hopes up, but it's hard not to after that shock of a first series. But Marion Gabrick, six points in four games. To Foley and Kopitar, both with five. Lucic with four. So some of their big players, particularly Lucic, that might not have had the best regular season, is already on a tear so far in the postseason. Our lineup remains the same, and once again, we have the same goal. Take at least one of these games away from the Kings. They, of course, swept their first-round series. We will look to hand them their first loss of the postseason, why Anton Slapishev is taking the opening draw against Kopitar, I have no idea. First period of the Western Conference semifinal matchup, and we are scoreless second period, and holy shit, <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. Troy Stetcher and Colton Pareko, 41 seconds apart, and the two defensemen get it done. Jeff Carter gets a goal back, but Drake Kajula with a gigantic goal shortly before the end of the period. Puts us up 3-1 at the end of two. Third period, though. We are still a long way away from sealing this game out, and Trevor Lewis gets a goal on Demko. I was afraid of that. I was hoping to get past the 10-minute mark, but we get a power play goal. Jonathan Drouin with a huge goal, and I hope that's enough to seal it. Very, very worried. That Trevor Lewis scored as early as he did. Jake Bertanen, another goal. The goals just, Jonathan Quick just falling apart. The goals just keep on coming for this team in the postseason. Mission accomplished at least for game one. A 5-2 final. Bertanen, Drouin, Pareko Stetcher, Drake Kajula. What a first game for us. Unbelievable start. Stetcher with three points. My God, what a way to start off this series. Unbelievable. And trust me, I'm going to try to limit the unbelievables. It's just kind of my go-to word for this. But truly, I do feel like this is just, this is absolutely, absolutely insane. I cannot believe this team is doing as well as it is right now. You guys have said it in the comments. It was enough to make the playoffs and anything else after that was just bonus points. And to win a series and now to have... A 1-0 series lead on the Kings is amazing. Game two at Staples Center. Let's do this. Can we pull off another shocking start? We went 2-0 up on the Ducks. Can we do it again here? First period.
period, and we get a ridiculous start again. Steven Stamkos halfway through the frame, and then Drake Kajula is like the master of perfectly timed goals. A late goal with under two minutes to go in the second period of last game, and now a goal with six seconds to go. We hold the Kings to six shots. Great start. Can we keep it up in the second period? We can. What is going on with Jonathan Quick? Jimmy VC from the point. Santarelli gets a goal back from the slot. But then Steven Stamkos from the blue line. I'm tempted to call out the Rask spot, but we'll let that inside joke. Or not really an inside joke. We'll let that joke lie with the other series. VC and Stamkos add another two. Things are looking good. 4-1 here in the third period. Five minutes gone. Can we make it these next few minutes without allowing a goal? And we get another one anyway. Jared McCann with a big time goal. I'm pretty sure his first goal in the playoffs. Bo Horvat with another one. Fuck Madison Bowie. Holy shit. I'm not even going to make a DJ Khaled joke. I'm not putting that fucking shit in here. Screw that. This, this, is, this is good enough on its own. Fuck cheap jokes and videos. Unbelievable. A 7-1 final. We have put up 12 goals in two games on the road against Jonathan Quick. They left him in for the entire game, and they absolutely paid for it. Stamkos, Kajula, VC. Stamkos gets his second. McCann, Horvat, and Madison Bowie. And the Vancouver Canucks, after a 7 Seven to one victory. Jonathan Drouin performing in the postseason just like he is in real life. Un un unbelie fuck it. Unbelievable, guys. It is unbelievable. We are up 2-0 in the series heading back to Vancouver for games three and four. We struggled in game three against Anaheim. Will we struggle in game three against the Kings? Let's go. Matthews into Foley. Take the opening draw. That is so random. Let's go. First period, and we get a lead again. Martin Hansel, a late goal from a pretty god-awful angle. We outshoot them again. We're up 1-0 after the first. Second period, and the Kings finally strike back. A huge performance from Jeff Carter gives them the lead. I think that's their first lead of the series. I've already kind of forgotten game one. This is all a blur. Third period, come on boys, we can do this. You put up seven, can we get two more? Two more goals should be enough, and Bo Horvat ties it. Perfect timing, let's go. One more goal, we're even in shots, this is anybody's game. Eight minutes to go, we're on the power play, can we get the goal? We can't. Four minutes, are we going to overtime, or is someone going to get a late winner? Drake Kajula maybe? No. And we are going to overtime. What a great goal though. Just perfectly timed. Overtime. Let's go. One goal, and it's Marion Gabarik. A minute 59 into it. A minute 59 into it. That knocks us back down to reality a little bit. We lose 3-2 in overtime in Game 3. Jonathan Quick rebounds with a pretty solid performance. That loss hurts a little bit. We know we're going back to L.A. for Game 5 at the very least. Game Four, though coming up can we take a 3-1 series lead back on the road or are the Kings going to scare the hell out of me and tie this up Jordan Nolan on the opening faceoff this time out first period and oh boy this series this series is not over guys Alec Martinez Marion Gabrick and Jake Muzzin with the goals Three goals on 14 shots. This series isn't over. Second period. Can we start a comeback? We cannot. Marion Gabrick makes it four nothing. Let's let's get this over with. We are uh, we have lost our advantage. Nolan gets a fucking goal. Excuse me, but Nolan <laughs> gets a goal. It is five nothing. And if you can't, <laughs> I wonder, I can't wait to listen back to this. Austin Matthews gets a pity goal and ruins the shutout. I can't wait to, to listen back when I'm editing this 
just to see how my tone changed from the end of game two to right now we lose game four by the score of five to one and this series is tied at two games apiece we have completely blown our advantage game five back in LA we're not going to make any roster changes I'm tempted I'm very tempted but I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with it and we'll see what happens here in this crucial crucial game five first period Tyler Toffoli with the lone goal putting them up one nothing second period still scoreless and now I'm getting concerned now I'm getting concerned one goal in the last five periods of play third period though we could turn it around right here a power play for LA and Frankie Carrasco with a shorty but then Toffoli scores on the power play anyway Nolan scores from a fucking that now that's a Rask spot I'm not gonna put his face up there but fucking hell oh uh, Corrado gave us hope Tyler Toffoli and Nolan who is playing out of his skull seals the deal we lose game five three to one that is three straight losses and I, I know what I said at the start of the episode that anything anything you know above making the playoffs was great but to be up two nothing in the series especially with a 7-1 win and now to blow three straight games being outscored by a combined 11 to 4 that is just rough our backs are against the wall for game six Demko is our goalie we are rolling with him I'll show you guys what certain players have done Trampkin and Pareko are staying together. Stetcher and Tanev struggling a little bit, but I don't want to split anybody up because Bowie and Corrado are also playing very, very well. I am definitely tempted to make some changes. I'm not sure what the right decision is here because there's no clear answer and you never really know with this game. And offensively is where our one change has taken place. Now our top line is performing quite well. Second line, BC has a respectable seven points. Hansel with six. Five points for Lindholm. I'm very tempted to switch him out. I'm almost, I'm kind of disappointed in what he's done. I kind of want to roll with Drake Kajula on that second line, but he and Bo Horvat have been getting it done. Jake Vertanen, though. He only has two points, but I want to make a change. Now, Anthony Mantha does have six points, and this might be my mistake is switching out Mantha for Vertanen, but that's the one change I am going to make. McCann is now the fourth line center with Slapishev. I don't know if this is going to come back to Hannes or not, putting Mantha on that fourth line, but it's what we are rolling with. And like we've said, anything, this is already, this is already just amazing for our club to have made it this far. If it ends here, so be it. Game six on home ice. Let's do this. First period, boys. Can we get off to a good start, please? And we do. My God, Drake Kajula, Jake Vertanen, and Martin Hansel. So two goals from the third line with Kajula and Jake Vertanen. And then, of course, Martin Hansel on the second line. But that new third line... Jake Vertanen scored from center ice. What the? He even scored from the wrong side of center ice. He scored from outside of center ice. That is two goals now in this postseason where we have scored from center ice. This is unbelievable. I really don't recall this happening at all in the Bruins GM mode. Kajula scores from the blue line. Vertanen from center ice. We have a 3-0 lead. Hope to God it doesn't evaporate. Second period and we fucking we double it. Austin Matthews, Hansel, and Kajula again. Six, nothing. We said the series wasn't over after game four. The series isn't over after game six. Two goals for Hansel. Two goals for Drake Kajula. Matthews on the board. Freaking Pretanen on the board. Unbelievable. Let's just sit back and enjoy this third period. Enroth is in the goal. Quick 
has been pulled. He wasn't pulled in the first seven goal game. He's pulled in this one. Stamkos gets the goal on Enroth Kopitar. Breaks the shutout. I don't care. Stamkos gets his second of the game as well. Unbelievable. 8-1. to 7-1 to one and an 8-1 to one victory on home ice. Can you believe it? Stamkos scores from another terrible angle. What a performance from these Vancouver Canucks. An 8-1 victory in an elimination game. Absolutely incredible. And we just, we have to look at some of the point totals here. Three assists for Stetcher. Two goals for Kajula. Stamkos for Tannen. For Tannen on the second line. Two points, a plus three for every member of that third line. Like that, that's just, that is beyond the ideal situation at this point. Was anybody a minus? Nobody was a minus. Although Anthony Mantha was pretty quiet with two hits. But just, man, what a, what a, man, actually Mantha was really quiet. Two hits, no shots, and 11 minutes on the ice. But the team got it done, man. The team got it done. And now it goes to a decisive Game 7 back in L.A. It was joked about in the comment section of my last video uh, to save in between games. I'm not doing that. I promise you I'm not doing that. I want to. I want to rig this series so bad because I genuinely want to win this game so goddamn badly. I so want to get into the Western Conference Finals because I truly believe we could beat Winnipeg and we could beat Nashville, whatever one makes it, to get to the Finals. <laughs> but as much as I want to rig that, guys, I can't because I don't want to lose the uh, the authenticity of the series. But genuinely, I'm pumped up for this. Like, this is a... This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy, especially, too, after the Bruins series with all of those disappointments. But no more time wasting. Let's do this. God, I really should rig this. I really should rig this just to make sure we win, but I won't. First period in L.A., and we are scoreless. We outshoot them, but we're scoreless. Second period. Please. Two goals! Steven Stamkos in the fourth line. Anton Slapishev. Oh my god. We are 20 minutes away from the upset of the century. <laughs> Steven Stamkos and Anton Slapishev with the goals. Our captain getting it done. Slapishev. Oh, you. You son of a bitch. I'm glad I held on to you. Third period. Let's do this. Can we hold on? Oh my god, my heart will literally like collapse. Stam Coast again. Another goal for the captain and we are 10 minutes away from a miraculous upset. This is absolutely unbelievable. Down 3-2 in the series and we shut out the LA Kings in game 7, 3-0. That's your Demko. Steven Stamkos lead the way and we are going to the Western Conference Finals three years into this rebuild. Now I know it wasn't the full rebuild. We cut some corners with Stamkos and obviously me making guys like Kajula, Stetcher, VC, and Demko. You know, I know I kind of cheated that in a way, but this is just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. A three... No, it's, what a series. Just what a goddamn series that was. A 5-2 win and a 7-1 win in games 1 and 2. And then to just blow it in games 3, 4, and 5. But the last two games, we outscored them 11-1. 11-1 in back-to-back -back elimination games. And we are going... To the Western Conference Finals. Can you believe it? And it's a Canadian Western Conference Final. Identical records. The Winnipeg Jets and the Vancouver Canucks and the Jets have home ice advantage. We'll take a look at how our players have done. I want to do this quickly to keep this episode short, but after upsetting the conference champions, I think they might have even won the presidents. Stamkos, Matthews, Drouin, 
unbelievable. We will take a look at Winnipeg at the start of the next episode, of course. But guys, let me know if I should leave the lines the same way. You just saw the point total. Should I leave Mantha on the fourth line in favor of Vertanen? What should I do with those lineups? Should we make any changes? Or should we just see how it goes against the Jets in the next round? In the East, it is down to Pittsburgh and Boston of all teams. It could be a Vancouver-Boston rematch. Boston beating Montreal in six. Pittsburgh beating Washington in five. We're halfway there, guys. We are halfway there. And in the next episode, we play in the Western Conference Finals against the Winnipeg Jets. I thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you've enjoyed, make sure to drop a like down below. It really helps out, and I would deeply appreciate it. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't already to continue following this series. I will see you guys in the next episode. Yeah.